why don't we start the show by highlighting some interesting news that I saw on Hypebeast regarding Emily Oberg's Sporty and Rich. They have a collaboration with Adidas Originals of all things, which to me is a bit surprising because I never really saw Sporty and Rich as an expansive enough brand to have a full collaboration with because everything just felt kind of merchy. Right? You saw some t-shirts, you saw some sweat style printed on blanks and that was basically it. And the funny thing about it for me was that whenever you saw a lookbook or an editorial of Sporty and Rich, it always looked very tastefully done. It looked very Tumblr-esque, very on brand. It kind of reminded me of stuff that you'd see featured on those pages that kind of look like they're promoting um, eating disorders, right? I know they're not, but there's these weird pages on Twitter and Instagram that exist. It looks like they're promoting girls who have eating disorders, but they're also promoting girls who go to uni but don't study. The ones that are like, oh, uni, uni hall, uni fit. It's like a Celine tote bag. It's like a Laura Piana flipping overcoat. It's like Adidas Sambas. That's AirPod Max is a phone notebook with nothing written in it but you know horoscope notes and stuff absolutely horrendous things and that would all you'd see and that's the kind of aesthetic you thought what well, i remember seeing from sporty and rich editorials but the funny thing that always made me laugh about them was that in their editorials there'd always be something like this in the opening images you can see on the hypebeast where there's a lady in this cool little pose wearing some cool sporty and rich pants that have been made with adidas and some adidas shoes and then she's got this cable knit jumper on that looks nice and these like boxer short things underneath that looks pretty cool too right uh, kind of like boyfriend boxer short type vibe you know boyfriend jeans boyfriend hoodie boyfriend this like it's just it's just annoying it's like the weird excuse that skinny girls need to wear baggy clothes because they don't like wearing baggy clothes so it's better to say it's a boyfriend thing because it me also it's like a weird humble brag like i have a boyfriend that's why i got this thing i don't know it's very it's very interesting very weird but regardless whenever you see these editors you see this cool little cable knit jumper right you see this cool watch that that lady's wearing and maybe some earrings and the funny thing is none of this stuff would be sporty and rich so it will be a vibe this will just be vibes like models own but then this stuff is the what is what they do in terms of a brand and it's very interesting you don't really see many other brands do that you don't see many brands sell an image but then promote or show you know lookbook stuff that they don't make um, maybe some shoes you might see some air force ones you might see some glasses maybe but you don't see like pieces of clothing that you can't buy because it's just part of the look for the lookbook but then the actual thing that they're selling is just an overpriced t-shirt with a crappy name you can't get anything worse in terms of a name than sporty and rich sorry it's in the same sort of bracket as flipping daily paper or something right it's just a name that means something but means absolutely nothing at the same point and it's also a name that i feel like hasn't really aged well you know what i mean it kind of maybe looked good back in the day in tumblr era blogger era whatnot early days of instagram but nowadays to call yourself sporty and rich to have sporty and rich emblazoned on your pants on your t-shirt and walk down the street with pride and hold your head up high and walk into your flipping spin class and feel like you're doing something walking into flipping ace hotel and feeling like you're doing something walking into flipping chateau marmont and thinking you're doing something is legitimately the height the height of corniness and lameness but as just an idea as a piece of execution as a project it's pretty interesting to see because i don't think it's a label or a fashion company in the slightest it's for me just a vibe thing um it, it maybe is an incubator of ideas it maybe is a platform it might be a quote-unquote collective of one person who everyone wants to maybe look like or something or the guys want to fuck cool fair but in terms of being a fully fledged brand come on if this is a brand then what is flipping anti-social social club that must be be fucking imperial armani right they must be putting out 100 000 looks if this is a fucking brand it makes absolutely no sense but the byline is that la based label um fashion vintage inspired samba og and stan smith and campus a offerings alongside matching tracksuits so the cable knit jumper is not part of sporty and rich but the tracksuit is which is funny and why even feature the cable knit jumper it looks good in the picture don't get me wrong but it's such a false advertisement for what they're pushing out there to be honest um the next slide it features again look at this false advertisement honestly they've been doing this for ages uh, is, is even that bra top included in it i bet it's not the bra top this whole look looks incredibly sick and really cool right they obviously something that you know not the lizards amongst us can probably get away with wearing and making look good but still it's a flipping cool look i get it it's nice but you've got this amazing camel um colored overcoat looks like it's double breasted with some nice um buttons there and you've got these great track pants actually that look very needle needleless x needle needles esque sorry you've got this great bra and panty set maybe it's a short set maybe it's a gym set i'm not really too sure with this great pearl earrings and the model is incredibly attractive also with the hair down it looks 
looks flipping banging right it's set on the backdrop of some what is this is this a roman bathhouse somewhere is this the back of some shisha place who knows but it's a really good look and an outfit but the whole thing that sets it off is that overcoat that camel brown overcoat sets the whole entire look off and you can't get it that's not sporty and rich I don't care what anyone says. That this is not something they make. They made have made the short, they made have made the pants and the bra top and the and the under pants, wherever they are. But that overcoat and those pearl necklace is not part of sporty and rich, which is why I'm saying they do a lot of false advertising and a lot of just like you know um, vibes styling when it comes to the things that they put out there, which is very interesting. I remember there was a really old editorial that I remember seeing in ID back in the day that was super cool because. If I remember it correctly, whoever the ID editorial fashion director was at the time, they did this photo shoot where they essentially took loads of vintage items and basically repurposed it, like re-engineered them. So I think they took a pair of track pants that were meant to be really wide and made them really skinny and then put them on the pair, matched them up with a pair of Nike Air Max 95s, I remember. And I remember looking at that look and thinking, that's pretty sick. And then matched that look with like a really expensive and new, at the time, undercover coat. So that was the first time I saw in a, in a magazine vintage stuff being styled with the brand right with something that's coming out in the shop but then you can imagine undercover might be a little bit more open to having their stuff styled with stuff you can get in rocket than maybe a Dolce cabana but that makes sense but it's not something you see common you don't, you don't see too often sorry in editorials or in lookbooks at all so for a brand itself maybe editorials is one thing but for a brand lookbook to have items on a lookbook that you don't make yourself it's just really bizarre but anyway it continues another one here there's a pair of jeans in this lookbook here <laughs> I mean, that's like, are they, do they make these jeans i don't i doubt it they look like they fit really well um they suit the model amazing again they're tucking the t-shirt into those underpant white things again which is interesting it's a nice t-shirt there in that like kelly green with the tray what's it how do you put it the tri the tri fell logo having the one with the free leaves on it you know what i'm talking about and some white sambas in there obviously the sambas are clearly something that adidas are trying to push i guess for next season maybe it seems like um the white sambas might be or the sambas in general could be the new Reebok Classic, especially if you live in a metropolitan hipstery area, you'll know the damage that Reebok Classics and guys who flipping roll their own cigarettes does who are doing to the flipping industry and the scene in general. So for the guys out there and the girls who are probably stomping around the London streets in double double sold Dr. Martins or banged up white Air Force Ones or what's people wearing at the moment? I see people wearing like Vejas, those vegan shoes that are completely horrendous. The only good ones that they ever make are the Rick Owens collaborations. Oh, and Converse's, right? People are wearing a lot of Converse's at like the 70s and whatnot. So cool. It looks like the next hype kind of trendy cool shoe for all the hipsters who rolled up their own cigarettes and like to, you know, buy their flipping lamb sheeses from really dodgy kebab places in the depths of Northwest London will be Sambas. Sambas are the next one. But you could you could really find, you know, <laughs> to ever I don't think you're ever gonna find me ever wearing a pair of sporty and rich sambas number one sambas don't suit my feet anyway because i've got gigantic elephant feet so it's going to be hard to make sambas work for my feet but if you think i'm going to go out there and buy sambas that say sporty and rich on the side of them you have another thing coming you might also have a pair of sambas that say yrn young rich nation or something right or young rich niggas whatever that flipping monica from migos was called right rip takeoff but imagine wearing something that says sporty and rich on the side of your shoe that is the height of corniness and lame um another good shoot here look now again with the pearl necklace that looks amazing it looks like it's kind of pinching a little bit of her neck there but regardless the, the little half quarter zip zip fridge top looks really nice but just imagine walking around with something that says that on the front of your top sporty and rich and i'm sure the rich is like rich in spirit rich in friends this doesn't always mean money it's like yeah, look i didn't believe it when pharrell said it right um wealth is in the mind and not in the pocket because that guy is very wealthy and he doesn't give his money away to anybody right kelisa is still fucking asking for her masters so that whole rich in spirit thing you can miss me with that one especially in a global recession i need actual cold heart cash i'm sorry and most of us don't look like her so we can't be spoiled and rich anyway even if we tried um, you got some campuses here in a in a in a, in a sort of burgundy color. The good thing I think about it is. If I remember correctly, again, I don't really know too much about Emily Oberg as a person, but if I remember correctly, she is a legit sneakerhead. 
Like, not like one of these girls nowadays who just, you know, it feels like nowadays, especially on social, you know, everyone's trying to find an angle. If you're a DJ, you know, you take your top off, you show your tattoos and stuff and you gyrate behind the decks. If you're a girl and you're mildly hot, you, you get really into sports and you follow a football team, you become like a Chelsea fan. And maybe nowadays also there's this idea that, you know, some girls are pretending they're into skateboarding or wearing sneakers. But if I remember correctly, Emily Oberg is actually a legitimate sneakerhead. Like she actually used to buy sneakers back in the day when I was buying them and be on forums and whatnot. Because I remember people kind of speaking about her and stuff. And she was at the talk of the town at one point because she was the only mildly attractive girl that existed on the scene. Isn't it? So she got a lot of outsized kind of attention at one point. And maybe she said some dumb stuff. I'm not really too sure. But I didn't pay much attention. But this makes sense that she was a sneakhead because think of them even though i would never wear anything that's a sporty original side of them in terms of the models that she's picked in terms of the color that she's done bravo you got here a campus that's essentially in a plush burgundy sort of colorway with a you know kind of classic off off white or white outsole white stripes white heel tab and the burgundy laces just done classic like two color combos nothing else no other bells and whistles no flipping power lining no zips on the side no removable or flipping you know um changeable flipping tongue or anything just classic what you'd kind of expect from a campus or maybe a campus that doesn't really necessarily out at the moment especially the ones that have been retro that may be a little bit more extravagant but just a classic campus is what you'd expect from it and she absolutely smashed these so these look great but again the jeans really make that look in it that those jeans the wash had they been repaired here on the knee this you know that maybe uh, maybe they've been re-engineered and put back together who knows but the jeans are absolutely amazing right and they look like they might be levi's might be yellow tabby of levi's too but these aren't part of flipping sporty and rich the t-shirt is and the flipping trainers but the jeans aren't like it's proper false advertising in my opinion the nice track top there in the kelly green and again you got this bra top also that i don't think is part of the collection again i don't i'm not too sure if this is going to be suiting ladies with more buxom chesters but regardless this stan smith looks interesting i've never been really been a big fan of stan smiths in general they just again they don't suit my feet i've got too my feet are too wide and too big to make stan smiths work but if you're somebody who likes wearing these type of shoes i don't think you'd be hard pressed to not like these you've got the little logo on the side all white with the burgundy heel tie burgundy logo and again sport here rich on the side you can go and chuck those off the side of a bridge for all i care never never wearing them the, the sambas they are what they are there's a little gold pearl thing on the side you're all gonna wear it again no necklace involved in the actual collections that's a bit weird the tongue has been shortened i'm not really a fan of that either uh, i prefer the tongue to be the classic sort of samba tongue that kind of flips down you either you either go long or you go home when it comes to sambas the campus looks pretty interesting again i'm not too sure what the sculptures have to do with the design and what they have to do with the inspiration about the brand but they send the message anyway that it's all about exuberance it's all about luxury it's all about being sporty and rich and it's all about putting cable knit jumpers and jeans and all that stuff and white pants into a lookbook that you're never going to sell so <laughs> i guess it is what it is um, when is it due to come out due to come out on november 22nd so if you want to buy a pair of sporty and rich um, ADAS Originals, then make sure you check them out on November 22nd. I'm not sure if it's going to be only women's or men's also, but, you know, you have to be a real special specimen as a dude to go out and wear that stuff if you want it. But hey, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge?